Hello everybody, today we are going to be checking out how you can make yourself an admin within your server.cfg file for 5M. We're going to be taking a look how to do it for Steam today. We're also going to look how we can install our Steam API web key. You're going to use Steam authorization for anything as well. So we're going to go in and open up our server.cfg file, edit it with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you want to use. You can see here, I already have my Steam ID here, but I'm going to show you how you can get yours to add it to this list. So what we need to do first is I'm going to go over the Steam Web API key um, and how we get that. So all you have to do to get this is you have to click this link or just copy and pasting it into your Google Chrome browser or Google browser, whatever you use for uh, searching. So just enter that in and you can see it will say reg you're going to have to log in. I'm already logged in clearly and it's going to say register Steam Web API key. By default, you're going to have like a little box where you have to enter your domain name and it will give you your key after that in order to get your domain name. And this is what we're going to use in order to get your domain name. We're just wanted to jump in real quick. I'm going to be getting my domain name for my local host server. If you are running a server on Zap hosting or on a ZPS or a dedicated server, you're going to use the IP for your server. So if you're local hosting, go along with what I'm doing. If you're using Zap or VPSs or dedicated servers, go with your dedicated server or VPS or Zap hosting IP. We're going to open up a new tab. We're going to type, what is my IP4 address? And then this is going to bring up this page. This is your IP6 address, which is weird. I don't know why that shows on Google if for some reason it shows that. But what we're going to do is go to the whatismyip.com or any of the other whatismyip sites. Just go ahead and click that. I apologize for the dog in the background. And then you can see my public IP4 address is this IP address. You're going to copy this IP address and put that for your domain name back on the other page. Okay, so I went ahead and got my dog to start barking. I apologize for that, but we are back. So you're going to set your domain name as your IP4 address, and once you press enter, you're going to see your Steam Web API key. Go ahead and copy this key, and you're now going to be able to minimize and go paste it within the set Steam Web API key. Go ahead and paste that in down there inside of your server.cfg file. All right, so once you've done that, it's now time to figure out what our principal uh, Steam identifier is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy their example here. So you can see their example here. We're gonna copy that and put, put it down here with a space between, uh, and then at the end, just put a space group admin. So we're gonna go ahead and get our key now. So go ahead and open up Steam. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to Steam, go to settings, go to interface, and then make sure display Steam URL address when bar is available. Go ahead and press OK. Then go to your profile. You can get to your profile by just clicking up here and pressing view my profile. Then you're going to copy the ID, which is after the steamcommunity.com slash ID. This may be a number or a username, depending what URL you set for Steam. Just go ahead and copy that. You're then going to open up a new tab inside of your um, browser. And this tab, you're going to type in steamidfinder.com. Go ahead and press enter. You're going to go here. You're now going to paste in that username and press get Steam ID. And here we go. You can see it has loaded. So what you want to take is you actually want to take the Steam ID 64. So just go ahead and copy the Steam ID 64. Go back to your server.cfg file, paste it in just like that and go ahead and save. It's that easy. You are now ready to go. To confirm that this worked, all we have to do is now save the file, exit out, Exit out of all your other tabs and go ahead and start your 5M server and then also start 5M. And we're going to go in and load in and see if we have been made an admin from in-game. Now, being an admin allows you to restart and start resources from the in-game uh, control panel or F8 menu, a console thing. And that's pretty much it. If you have other resources that require you being an admin, that does that as well. So we're just going to go in and load in here and I will be back with you all momentarily. All right, so we have our going, we are loading in here, uh, kind of have, we got through the loading screen and everything. Now, if you press F8, you can see it has opened up our console. You can see I'm running 5PD and stuff. Now, in order to see if this worked, we can literally use all the console commands we could use in our normal console here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop or restart 5PD. Now, if I was able to type this and it says restarting like this, it went ahead and restarted here. You can see I'm now an admin which is all we wanted to do in the first place. So now I can stop, start, and uh, all of this from the console. You can see all of these 
work now. So I can go ahead and stop and start and restart whenever I want. Um, if you have any questions in terms of doing this, please leave them down in the comments. The best place to get support is the 5M uh, Discord or forums because they made the client. I don't make 5M. I don't, I'm not a developer for it. I just do tutorials on it. So if you need help, I can help with basic issues down in the comments. Otherwise, please ask on the forums. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this did help you out. If it did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in tomorrow's video for another tutorial. Yeah.